Yeah, um, you know, we <sighs> made it hard early on. Um, and that being said, I mean, <laughs> we really had a lot of chances tonight. And, you know, the, the not so great side is we conceded three, but the brilliant side is that we scored three as well. Um, and goalkeeper made I one of four or five just outstanding saves tonight. Um, we couldn't put the game away, but at the end of the day, we got the result that we needed. And it was a good Bowling Green team. I mean, they were really direct and they were big and, and strong and athletic and gave us a lot of problems with, uh, you know, those balls. They just started serving balls into the box as the game went on. And, but I thought uh, guys like Jack uh, Elliott was an absolute warrior tonight, and Hayden was a warrior tonight, and Craig Stevens and Achoa, and even Francio when he came in there really helped st stabilize us a little bit. You went up against a team that was <clears throat> second in the MAC and, and giving up goals in terms of the fewest amount. Mm. Were you surprised that you had what ten shots on goal here tonight? No, we had we have ten last game too. Mm. We, I mean, well, we've, been, we've been creating a lot of chances. Um, you know, there was a, a run there where we were struggling to score goals and. You know, I, all we've done a little bit differently is that we've multiplied our chances and now we're scoring. We're still missing the same clip that we were missing in that that stretch. But, um, you know, uh, anytime you score three, you got to look at the positive side of things. And we responded right away after we conceded the first one. Um, got one right at the at the death at, right before halftime on a fantastic, superb finish from Andy Bevan. And then when we got the third, um, we were kind of coasting there for a while, and we were out possessing them. We were knocking the ball around, setting up some great counterattacks and great scoring opportunities, and then a, kind of a fluky, you know, corner kick, weird header. In the, I mean, it was kind of that was probably the the least quality of their three goals that they scored. Um, but even after that, we had chances, and I, when you're creating chances like that, it's fun. I think it was an entertaining game to watch. It was ugly at times because it was scrappy. The surface gets so slick when it's cool. Um, but our, again, we attack so well. I just wish we didn't have to concede through. We haven't. We've been defending so well over the last six weeks. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. Yeah, you haven't given up three goals since the beginning of September. Uh, yeah. And yeah, you mentioned the corner, but were the other two, was it just mistakes from the back? Yeah, I mean, you know, in the first half, we turned the ball over a lot in the, in the worst places. Mm -hmm. Second half, Desi and Christian started getting a little bit more into the game. Um, but, uh, yeah, a couple fl I mean, I, I, you know, I guess it happens. Uh, but we can't let it happen moving forward in the conference tournament now. Mm -hmm. So, um, irregardless, you know, we told, told the boys we're going to look at tape try and fix some things but uh, we start from scratch now everybody's even um, and we get to play for a championship and that's what the goal was at the start of the year. Now you don't know who you're going to play yet don't even know where you're going to play yet so what's the plan right now in terms of getting them ready? Well we know uh, the two teams that we played against um, from earlier in the year Western Michigan and Akron's going to be one of those two. Yeah. We were excellent against Western Michigan the first time we played them here. Um, and we're disappointed not to get something out of that in that nil-nil game um, against Akron. After giving up the first goal early on, we were <laughs> excellent in that game as well. Um, I think this team's confident. You know, we didn't have Craig Stevens last time we played Akron. That's a different uh, element that we add to this game this time around. Um, I like our chances. If, you know, we've only lost once uh, since what? Uh, only lost once since the start of October, since October 1st or September 30th. This team's hard to beat right now. Um, and we're scoring goals again right now. And uh, I think if you asked, asked around, we're probably the last team anybody really wants to play right now because, yeah, we're young, we're inexperienced, we're going to make mistakes, but, um, you know, we, we play on that edge and we go forward, we attack with numbers, and we're capable of scoring three or four goals a game.